Hello, everybody. Welcome to the lab. Are we all good? Yes. It's Easter time. It's Easter time. Yeah. And um, welcome back to our newly, still newly renovated mm -hmm. lab. Yeah. This is uh, where all, you know, the magic happens. <laughs> this is uh, Francisca's home, our head of uh, development here at La Cris. Yeah. And um, today we're going to talk about launching uh, the Easter products. Mm. Yeah, we're going to do it. Um, yeah, because uh, we're going to do much more um, live sessions from down here. We're going to invite you down here at uh, different times. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. And in the end of this uh, live session, we're going to do a Q&A. Mm -hmm. So uh, ask questions. Uh, we are here to, to answer it. Yeah, so, uh, it is. And um, maybe we should even just uh, start to talk about the two flavors. I think that's the most interesting part of, uh, of launching the Easter uh, eggs. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we should start with uh, you know, the icon yeah. of, um, of uh, the favorite. collection. This is the all-time favorite Easter product, and it's the crispy caramel. And this is the sixth year, as far as I remember, mm -hmm. um, the sixth year. And I think we, it's been on a journey, this product. So we've, uh, we've uh, fine-tuned it every single year. And yeah. I think it is, you know, 99% perfect now. We like it. We really like it, yeah. yeah. Can you maybe, Francisca, talk a little bit about uh, what's uh, inside it and, and what's so special about sure. it? Sure. Hmm? A lot of you guys know it since we've launched it in 2015 but um, this is a uh, crispy caramel so you get a multi-sensory uh, experience when you bite through it as your hand just did you'll have this uh, crunch from the crispy sugar shell mm -hmm. and inside yeah. you'll find our uh, very own dulce caramelized chocolate flakes of sea salt raw licorice powder and the center the core the heart is a sweet licorice number and one. And then it's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. It we looks like uh, small planets. It looks like small pl planets. And mm -hmm. I think the guys who is actually making it in the production, they've done it now for five years and they are becoming even more and more beautiful. Yeah, I think so maybe you can see like a, a different from whoever produced this. Mm -hmm. It's not Mars, but it's a licorice planet. What I really like about this product is the way we we use the the sea salt flakes. Mm. Um, I really I have this feeling of if you you bite it, it will taste different places in your mouth. Does it make sense? Yeah. So you can really taste the the flakes of sea salt, and I think that experience is is really unique to me. Mm. It makes me very happy that you say this different places mm. in the mouth, but that, that's true. It is. And um, you have the the sweetness, and then you change to the saltiness and then you have the intense licorice and then it's very sweet and yeah who doesn't like who yeah. doesn't love it and it has the crunchiness from, mm -hmm. from yeah. an egg yeah. you know which is so um, you have these uh, different textures which actually makes it more interesting uh, for your brain yeah yeah it's in a playful uh, campaign so our very talented uh, you know design team um, was very playful this year mm -hmm. but and it comes together in a, in a great campaign in the end. Um, so um, maybe we should uh, jump into the, the second part of the assortment. Yeah, because it has a partner. And uh, there is some kind of uh, you know, official <laughs> uh, announcement right now. And hopefully a lot of you guys will forgive us now. But um, uh, this year we've decided not to launch the vanilla mango product. Mm -hmm. And we're going to come back to that. Um, but we did something year, very twisted. Very, very twisted and very nice. And um, <laughs> actually this product, Twisted Banana, was a part of our La Cris Lovers Lab. Um, was it a year ago or something like mm -hmm. that? What we normally do, you should all join our La Cris Lovers Lab on, on Facebook. Um, uh, what we're doing in there is that we launch uh, products from the lab uh, in small batches. Mm. And uh, we do surveys and we ask you guys what you really want. Yeah. And it's this a community, actually. It is, yeah. yeah. And, and this product was just so super popular. Maybe, maybe mm. you should talk about the process, Francisca, because yeah. you, you made it. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to eat it. Nice. 
we call it twisted banana because it's like uh, what's going on with this banana thing but it's like banana is like the first kind of to a lot of people it's actually one of the first fruits you learn to love because when you're a baby it's like uh, it's just you mash it up and you have baby food mm. so a lot of uh, kids have tasted it and it's super greasy <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like the greasy very uh, yeah very smooth and actually um, when I was a kid, sometimes I took like a wine gum or a jelly with banana and tasted it together with a licorice. Mm -hmm. That combination, silly combination is what we did here. So I tried to do the same in the lab. And you have this um, very sweet mm -hmm. banana. And these are Cavendish uh, bananas. And then you have uh, small sparks, like crunchy particles of raw licorice. And then the center is a salty licorice. Mm. Mm? So if we are looking at, you know, a process of, of, of making the world love licorice, I think the first product is on a, uh, maybe from one to 10, a two or something mm -hmm. like that. And this might be four, five, something like yeah. that because of the salty licorice in the center. Yeah. So you should be aware that this is banana, this is greasy, this is nice, but it still has the, you know, the Scandinavian raw licorice and salty heritage to it. Um, I think that's important yeah. to mention. Uh, it's it's super nice and it's super <laughs> unique. And I actually, years ago, I did a, an interview uh, with a Danish national television and they asked me a question, what would be the most, you know, silly uh, ingredient to add to a licorice product? And I think I found the interview uh, a couple of weeks ago and I said, banana. So now <laughs> we're here talking well, about banana and licorice. That was but it before is, my time. <laughs> it was actually absolutely yeah. amazing. We did something crazy and a lot of you actually uh, liked it. So we took the chance and we launched it and we hope you're going to love it. Mm -hmm. Twist it or not. Yeah. But um, don't worry about the vanilla mango because it's actually, we're bringing it back actually. We are. Yeah, we are. We are. Do you have it there? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to show it to you. You can talk about it. Just... Yeah. So we have uh, been having our edition of, uh, of the egg with the, our vanilla mango for uh, the last couple of years. But um, what we want to do now is uh, take it to our community, our small, like, extended version of the development lab which is the La Chris Lovers Lab. So um, we did some uh, improvement and we are very uh, eager to hear what you think. So when you buy it online, then uh, there is a questionnaire that you can fill out and you can help us um, develop and improve it. Mm. But well, it's uh, the unique thing mm -hmm. that you are uh, eating now. You feel the... What is so truly unique and for those of you could always already tried this product is the slow crafted licorice mm -hmm. in the center. You know, it's the original recipe from Bonholm, and it has this, you know, caramelized and super amazing uh, full-bodied uh, licorice, you know.